So the Irish Grand National is next in. It's a Grade 3 handicap over 3 miles and 5 furlongs. And the top one is recruiting agent for Leon van Rensburg, who's also got slow burner. Belgira Jude, James Shea, Denevo, Darren Thompson. I do, I do, I do for Graham Clutterbuck, who's also got Amelia Farley. Hart Paces and Chingford Cross for Craig Allen. Shamadal Phantom for Thomas Rogers. Plyne Lukey Martin, Leon Watergate, Darren Thompson. Isabel Reform, David Wrightson. Von Pegasus, Paul Rhodes. Latin lover, Kevin Meenahan. Once upon Paul O'Neill. No more prisoners, Paul Rhodes. Shater Saisons for Paul O'Neill. And Alex Cherry's got the bottom two. Cashback and Takajan. That's the field then. And oh, here they go in the Irish Grand National. One of two Grand Nationals this week. We've got the Scottish Grand National as well. And it's Watergate and Von Pegasus just about dispute the early lead then. And it looks like Watergate is going to go on as they make their way towards the first of 22 fences which they've got to negotiate. But Watergate gets over it OK and so do the rest of the field. So Watergate then is in the lead by a bad four lengths already with Von Pegasus on the inside the grey as we see them from the other side of the track. You can see Alex Cherry's two horses are closest to us. Cash back the one that's closer to the front as they come to this ditch. They're all safely over that one as well. The field is quite nicely grouped at this stage, with the exception of Watergate, who's clear in the lead, and Takajan, who's just a little bit detached width-wise from the rest of them. But it's Watergate down to the third of the 22, who gets over it nicely in the lead. From Belgira Juniors up the centre of the track, I'm sure the jockey's going to tap that one over to the fence now. And indeed he is, so... They sorted themselves out then, trying to find out where they want to be. And they'll probably hunt round for the first circuit and then race for the second. But it's Watergate in the lead with Belgira Jude five lengths back in second. Oh, mistake there by the grey on the inside. Von Pegasus, but got away with it. And looking towards the back of Mealy Farley is just the back marker. But Watergate is showing the way home over the fifth and gets over that one nicely. I wonder if we'll see some of these in the short of the Moores Millions finals next week. Really good possibility. Also the Whitbread Gold Cup this week over this same distance. So plenty of opportunities for these long distance horses in the last two weeks of the season as they take the sixth. And we've lost one at the back there. We've lost Chingford Cross. So Chingford Cross, the one that ran an absolute stormer in the Gold Cup a couple of weeks ago to finish about fourth has crashed out of the Irish Grand National at the seventh. So it's Watergate who's in the lead then by about five as they skip over that one and another one's gone there that's Isabel Reform this time so I'm a surprise to see a couple of these fall in there ones that normally get round okay when it's Watergate in the lead big field of course though and it might be a case of being unsighted and Watergate is the leader Belgira Jude is second then there's a gap back to Hart Paces and Von Pegasus and I do I do I do I do with Shater Saisons and Shamadal Phantom and Plyne Lukey and towards the back I think Latin Lover might just about be the back marker now as they take the eighth. They're all safely over that one this time with the field now beginning to string out a little bit. And there's only a little more than two miles still to go as they race towards the next of the fences. And Watergate is in front from Belgera Jude as they take the ninth. And another mistake there by oh, something on the inside. It might well have been Hart Paces who went down on his nose that time. Difficult to tell as they're so tightly grouped. But it's Watergate who continues to show the way to Belgera Jude. Then Von Pegasus, Hart Paces and Shater Saisons are nicely placed. I do, I do, I do. And Shamadal Phantom has been switched to the outside. Plyne Luke he's tucked in behind them then slow burner and once upon the nevos after that one then recruiting agent cashback as they take the 10th and they all stream over that one as well with latin lover and no more prisoners towards the back of the field at the midway point in the jump in is done then and they're into the final two miles and it's watergate over this 11th and is that midway point in the jump in and watergate the leader from belgira june second von pegasus is back in third then heart paces shaman al phantom and plyne luke again a little bit closer than the gray i do i do i do with shater saisons on the inside as they pass the big screen and make their way past the winning post and they're going to swing right-handed now and out for one more circuit of the track in the Irish Grand National. It's Watergate that's in the lead. Belgira Jude is two and Von Pegasus is three. Half paces is four and Shaman Al Phantom is five. Then Shota Saisons is six and Plyne Luke is seven. I do, I do, I do is eighth and then Slow Burn after that one. Then Denevo and Once Upon and Cashback and Taka Jan and Recruiting Agent and Amelie Farley as they take the twelfth and over that one they all go. And we lost one there. Von Pegasus is gone. So Von Pegasus departs on the inside the grey and it's Watergate 
Watergate still in the lead by about two and a half lengths to Belgira Jude in second. Hart Paces is getting closer in third. Shamad Al Phantom and Plyne Luke have been pulled wide on the track as they take the 13th. They're looking for some better ground possibly, but it's Watergate who's been in the lead all the way. At this stage, clear by about two lengths to Belgira Jude in second. Then Shamad Al Phantom wide on the track. Then Hart Paces and Shater Saisons. And then Ply Luki as they take the 14th. A mistake that time was by Shater Saisons. Latin Lover is still the back marker, but Watergate still the leader. Watergate still leads them by just over two lengths to Belgira Jude and Hart Paces. Shamad Al Phantom is next. Then Slow Burner and Ply Luki trying to get into it. Bit of a gap to Shader Saisons. And then I do, I do, I do as they take the 15th. The Nevo jumping well today on the outside, and Latin Lover still just a back marker. There's a little more than nine furlongs still to go, and Watergate has been in the lead all the way so far. Gets over that 16th, nice jump, leads well. From in second place, Hart paces. Then comes Plyne Lukey now moving through into third. Shamad Al Fanton's on his outside, Belgira Jude's on his inside. Here comes Slow Burner now, coming through with a bit of a run. I do, I do, I do, he's well placed, and so's De Nevo. Shader Saison's after that as they take this ditch, which they all negotiate safely. Takajan has now dropped to the back as Latin Lover tries to move forward a little bit but it's still Watergate in the lead. Watergate from Hart Paces and Belgira Jude. Slow Burner is now creeping through the challenge. Plyne Lukey on the back of that one. Then comes Shamad Al Phantom. A little bit of a gap to I do I do I do as they take the 18th and they are all safe over that one as well with Watergate still showing the way home but they are queuing up behind Shamad Al Phantom now making a forward looking move on the outside and also coming through now switch to the outside is Shater Saisons. The race could well begin to to change complexion now then but Watergate is still in the lead. Watergate only by a length now though to Belgira Jude, Shamad Al Phantom, Hart Paces, then Slow Burner, Denevo, Shater Saisons and Plyne Luke it's surely between these as they race down towards the next end. That's the 19th and they're all safely over that one as well. They've just got three more fences to take and Shamad Al Phantom has hit the front. Shamad Al Phantom's gone on then from Belgira Jude and Denevo. Watergate suddenly treading water on the inside. Shater Saisons coming through nicely on the outside then Slow Burner over the third last they go Denevo makes his customary mistake and it's Shamad Al Phantom who's suddenly now three clear. Shamad Al Phantom from Shater Saisons in second. Then comes Denevo trying to run on again. Then Belgira Jude. Plyne Luke is still in there. Then I do, I do, I do, I do. Switching around to the outside. Coming there now is the is the grey as well that's coming through there with the run. That's once upon. And it's Shamad Al Phantom who's in the lead. He's clear by four with two to jump. That's the second last. And he went down on his nose, the leader. But he's got away with it. They race down towards the final fence now in the Irish Grand National. And it's Shamad Al Phantom from Shater Saisons and Belgira Jude. I do I do I do this is the final fence again the leader was over it slowly Shater Saisons is trying to close then Belgira Jew it's Shaman Al Phantom in the lead then racing to the final half furlong it's Shaman Al Phantom looks like he's going to take this and Shaman Al Phantom is clear by three lengths a fast finish you I do I do I do he's just going to get up to take second then Plyne Lukey finish well then Belgira Jew and half paces in Denevo long time leader Watergate slow burner never really got into it neither did recruiting agent cashback was probably the last one to finish but a pretty exciting race and Shamad Al Phantom has taken that pretty cosily really despite two dreadful mistakes on the final two fences oh, goodness knows how far it would have won by if it would have jumped those two properly but Shamad Al Phantom takes it for Thomas Rogers what a cracking first season he's having I do 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 however many times he does for Graham Clutterbuck was second Plyne Lukey for Martin Leland was third Belgira Jude for James Shea was fourth and Hart Paces for Craig Allen was fifth